Hi church family, this is Margie Mayer. I'm gonna spend just a couple minutes with you um, doing my Devo uh, today. And my title of it is Guidance. And a little ironic, um, I'm gonna need a little bit of guidance because I didn't bring my glasses, so I'm gonna to try to, to work through it without it today. Um, but before we begin, let's just say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your word and just how much you love us and that you want to protect us and you want to guide us and that um, that is just an awesome parent and uh, we just want to thank you for that and I just pray that I can read my, my notes without stumbling too much. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, so sometimes I feel like when I'm getting ready to do a Devo, I'm uh, thinking, well, where does the Lord have me right now? What am I studying? And and I kind of feel like I do a little bit of hopscotching over the verses to try to find that key verse. Um, and then, because it just doesn't feel like this is what I want to read or this isn't what I want to say until I, you know, kind of weave my way through different verses. And I feel like um, that, the, that my spirit just kind of maybe settles down. And like I said, as I as I start to write down the passages and I read the different verses um, and I read the different commentaries, the thing um, that my heart is searching for, um, it just kind of uh, comes to light. Um, and for the month of June, as we've been praying, I've been praying for myself for revival. I've been praying for the church, for our city, for our families. Um, but at the head of every um, morning, uh, time that I spend in the Bible, um, I write down the title of it, and it is um, Revive Me, Lord, uh, According to Your Word, and that's in Psalms 119, 107. Um, and it just, it, it is, it's just that that's where um, we get our guidance from. That's where we um, know what, how to pray, what to pray, um, and the Lord just illuminates the things for us, and, and that's where I kind of find my key. So, um, how do we receive guidance? The very first thing is that, that we need is that we want to be guided. Uh, we can have all the instructions, um, we can have the word right in front of us, we can listen or we can read it, but if we're not listening and if we don't want that guidance, then it's kind of for naught. Um, I'm a novice, and I'm not going to say that I know a whole lot, but this is what came to my mind this morning, uh, a novice about horseback riding. And I did learn it from Emily. Um, but what she has taught me before is, before you just jump on the back of a horse, there's things that you need to do. Um, she, she showed me to take the, um, I'm going to call it whip, I'm sure it's not what that is. <clears throat> but just kind of rub it over the horse gently and over the saddle over everything and let him get to get to used to to us um or to get used to me so that we can start having a different bond that we can start trusting each other um, and that's that's what he wants to make sure that i'm not going to mistreat him and i want to make sure he's not going to buck me off so there there's something that we have to do a little bit before um, and we need to be willing to get into that saddle. Um, and we need to also be willing to get into the saddle of the word. In Psalms 46.10, it says to be still and know that I am God. Be still. Um, maybe the hopscotching that I had to do is my way of getting that anxiousness out of my system so that I can be still and know what the Lord is um, and whatever it is that the Lord is wanting me to tune into in his word and God is there to guide me and I want to find out what it is that he has for me each day. God's word is an endless supply of knowledge and guidance. Reading his word is how we gain knowledge and direction for our lives. In Psalms 25, 4 and 5 says, Show me your way, O Lord. Teach me your path. Lead me according to your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. Um, on you I will, uh, on you I will wait all day. Guidance or training begins with discipline. It means bringing our wild Mustang heart 
under the uh, supervision of God's will. To, uh, to trust, we will find rest and have peace, and we will be able to receive and recognize God's blessing when our hearts and minds are open. Let's say a prayer. Dear me, Father, I know that it was quick, and I just that um, just continues to speak to me even as I'm reading it now is that one sentence that we have to be willing to be guided. And Lord, I just pray that as we continue to pray that our hearts begin, begin to be softened and that you put that desire in our heart that we want to learn more about you. We want that guidance. We want to know what um, you want for us and that you have for us. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen.